What's up? Welcome to another Gymshark haul, and today we're going to be taking a look at the little What's up, guys? Welcome to another Gymshark haul, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ozone line and the version three Onyx wear. So I'm currently wearing this Onyx T-shirt, but we're not going to start there. We're going to start with the brand new lines which are releasing, which is called the Ozone line. Starting with this hoodie. So the Ozone line is a new release from Gymshark, and it is taking a brand new approach to not only the way it looks, but the cut and style and feel of the hoodies. So I'm rocking a large in this one, in black, which as far as I'm aware is the only color that's been released in. It is a high grain cotton, it's thick, it's a dense fabric, so this is not a lightweight hoodie. This is a size large and it is quite fitted. Now, I can get away in a medium in stretchy fit things, and I'd say I would get away with a medium fit in this, but it would definitely fit like a fitted jumper. Whereas I quite like my hoodies to fit like hoodie, with a little bit of room, a little bit of movability. And that's what it does for me in a large. I am a 42 to 44 inch chest, I have a 30 inch waist, I am 5'8", 5'9", in height. So I would say, if you are over 5'11", hitting about 6 foot range, you definitely going to want the large in this, just for the arm length, because for me, this large is perfect. So, XL, if you're probably above 6'1", I'd definitely go for that XL size. But fitment wise, you can see it's tapered at the waist. We have the standard everywhere, lockdown zips. We have lockdown plus covered zip at the top of the neck, so it's not gonna nip any of that skin. But the lovely little details of the ozone, are these little patches on here, which offer, I mean, there's, there's functional reasoning for them. They offer a little bit of stretch fit around those areas, but mainly they just pretty look cool. Oh, oh appreciate the hair for we get to end this video and it look like a scarecrow, but here we go. So you can see, back of the hoodie, a lot of nice detailing going on. We do have a raglan sleeve fit, which is better for those of us with the bigger shoulders. So that means that it's gonna stretch around the shoulder, no seam pulling across it, so it's not gonna be uncomfortable. More importantly, it's not gonna lift the hem, because we've got that giving the shoulders. Uh, we've got elasticated cuff. So in the past, what we've seen is when they've got tapered cuffs, obviously if it's completely solid cotton all the way around, getting your hands in and out if you've got the bigger hands is difficult. They bypass that by adding this little bit of elastic to the cuff, so that makes it nice and easy getting it on and off. Zipped up pockets, we have working drawstring hoodie. And that pretty much covers it. It's the Ozone hoodie, size large, really nice. One of my favorite new pieces of things that's coming out from Gymshark, and it is a heavier weight hoodie. So make sure that you do buy the size that you require because with it being that heavier weight, it's gonna have a little bit less give, even though there is a bit of stretch in it. So I would say, I'm a large. I'd say if you're over six foot, go for the XL. That's my handy hint. At the end of the day though, I do normally wear a large, but this large is just that little bit more fitted. Fresh out of packets. We have alongside the hoodie, the Ozone Sweats. And these, again, have some nice detailing on the rear to the back of the knees. We've got that flex panel again, which looks cool, but is functional. It's offering breathability and functionality around the back of the knee. So if you're sat in and moving around a lot, it's not gonna kind of rub against the back of the knees, which you find with a lot of heavyweight cottons, which is again, heavyweight cotton. We've got some nice detailing with a zip back pocket. So finally, we do have a rear hidden zip back pocket, which is really useful. Around the front again, hidden zips. It's a pocket, it's got a zip. They're there. <laughs> it's just, right, let's see what they fit like. One, two, ta-da! Magic. So we have the Ozone on, and they are a tapered cuff towards the bottom, again with that elasticated um, cuff. Back of the knee, you can see, there's that detailing. Gymshark logo here. This is uh, an overprinted logo, and those hidden zip pockets. I like it, it's a very, very slight drop crotch. Not huge, nothing like the kind of Steve Cup range or anything like that, but I prefer them when they're a bit, bit of a drop in the crotch, because what that means is, less pecker hugging. <laughs> so, there we go, that's the Ozone's. Rocking these in a medium, and I am, as standard across the board, a medium in these type of pants, and it's absolutely perfect fit. So I go for normal size order on these. That's the Ozone bottoms. Now, we have, the short versions of these. That's right, it's summer, it's time to get your hairy knees out. So the Ozone shorts in a black medium, and they're pretty much exactly the same as the tracksuit bottoms, so you've got the same hidden pockets, same zip pockets, poppets, pockets, drawstring waist, logo towards the bottom, and don't need that. What we do need to do is magic. Three, two, one. 
as if we weren't awesome enough already, we now have our hairy calves on show. But uh, I like them. Again, we've got that slight drop crotch maintained from the tracksuits themselves. Personally, okay, these are a medium. Now, I would rock these one size up because what I would like is a little bit more length than to just sit just below the knee like that. But with a medium, obviously, can't do that. So with a medium, they're sitting here above the knee, which is still fine. But for me, when I'm wearing shorts, I like them to be a little bit, a little bit oversized. But I mean, there's not much more to say to those. They're exactly the same as the bottoms. So again, same waist, same fitment. Medium is right for me, but you could definitely go a size up in these. They're not gonna to be too big, and they're just gonna sit probably like that little bit lower. But other than me needing more of a tan, I look pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the ozone line. You have the hoodie, the bottoms, and the shorts. Next up, it's the superhero wear, and it's my favorite line, the Onyx line. So I'm wearing the black, there's also a light Gray version, which is this kind of color. In all the things I'm gonna show you now, they'll come in black and the gray. So we're gonna be looking today at the t-shirt, the tank, the hooded top, and some leggings. And these are all version three of the Onyx line. So take a look at the t-shirt to start with. You can see that the pattern now stretches the entire length of the body. Previously, it used to cut in kind of an end here on the torso. So that stretches all the way down, giving it a much more kind of tapered in look from a distance, maintain that superhero look. A little bit of a smaller logo on the front, this is in a 3D silicon, and really can't even feel that it's there though when you're moving around, which is cool. The whole thing is designed as real athletic wear. This is dry fit, stretch fit, seamless, plus has added extras like silicon on the, on the hems, so that wherever you stretch it to, it grips and stays. Complete active wear, this it is 100% designed to have the shit kicked out of it, to take a lick in and keep on ticking. It is one of the most comfortable, but looks awesome. It's superhero wear. So this is the t-shirt. I have this in a size large. Now this is important because technically a medium should fit me, but when I put it on, because this is a stretch fit and because it grips so much at the bottom, I found it was coming a little bit tight in the waist and I liked it a little bit looser. So the large fits me exactly the same up top. Gives a little bit more length on the arms if you stretch them out. But for me, I simply just sit them up and they stay wherever you put them. So the large is perfect for me in this. And I'm a 42 to 44 inch chest as a standard with a 30 inch waist. So bearing in mind when you order, you might be able to order a size up on these and it's still gonna fit you nicely because of that stretch fit. So moving on from the t-shirt, we'll take a look at the tank. Three, two, one, magic. <laughs> This is the tank. Again, I love this. It is more active wear though than it is kind of bodybuilding wear. So bear that in mind. It doesn't have a racer back. It's a pure tank. It is again dry fit stretch, uh, has all that same detailing on it, but it's a little bit more freedom. For me, if it's a really hot day uh, and I'm doing a lot of active wear where, my, where I'm gonna be moving off the top, this is my choice. The t-shirt's great for I'd say through things like sprints and stuff like that, but if I'm doing bag work and boxing, I don't like to be kind of tight up here. Maybe if you're even playing basketball or something like that, for some reason I don't like sleeves over and that's where the tank comes into play. Again, it's the exact same fit as a t-shirt. I've gone for a large once again, simply for that fitment around the waist and that little bit of length that I like to have. And that's all you really need to know about this one. So we'll switch out from the black, let you see what a gray looks like now. And this is in a hooded long sleeve, which is also gonna be the black version of. Ready? Three, I'm gonna do a Hadouken for this one. Okay. Three, two, one. Hadouken! Huh. Come on, come on! Yeah, admit it, it looks sick. So this is the long sleeve version in the gray. So you can see the detailing on the gray is a little bit more subtle in terms of what you see on that patterning, but the fit and everything is exactly the same. Raglan sleeve, seamless, stretch fit, silicon hems, and this is a long sleeve with the hood. Perfect for if you're out doing the running, or want to stay nice and warm while you're warming up. This would be something where, I, this is what I kind of wear through in earlier parts of training, whilst I'm getting warm to then strip down to have whatever you wanted underneath, whether it be the tank or something completely different. But I love the fact that it's not overly thick. Again, everything is seamless. So there's no rubbing, no nothing to worry about there. The zip here is unprotected on the back side. So personally, I would, probably wear something underneath this if I'm doing a lot of active you know, active things where I'm going to be moving a lot from the upper body. But other than that, it unzips to show your cleavage nicely. I think I think it gives a nice like C cup look, I'd say, from there. It's not quite Playboy, but we're, we're probably Sun Page 3. 
I reckon. <laughs> Worth a look. <laughs> Worth a look. <laughs> yeah. But that's it. This honestly, just I mean, I can't say enough good things about these. They look awesome. This size large. Once again, I think is it? Is it? This is the Onyx top in a medium. Okay. Hmm. Put a spanner in the works there. I thought this was a large. This is actually medium, and this fits okay. The medium in the tank definitely was too small. But it feels, seems like the long sleeve medium is probably about right for my height because of that arm length. I think if I'd have got a large, I'd probably get a few more wrinkles in this arm here. So, maybe buy to your normal size and stretch fits for the long sleeve, but for the t-shirt and the tank, you can definitely, definitely go up a size a little bit, I'd say. But again, you have to judge this. So measure the things on the website. If you have any questions, make sure to hit Gymshark up. Customer service, Twitter, wherever it may be, make sure you get the right size because these are gonna sell out. So pick wisely, but I hope this has helped. We've got one more thing to look at now, but that's the upper body stuff done. Do I keep, now I've got to put gray leggings on now because we have the leggings. Do I keep them on and look like a power cement ranger? <laughs> <laughs> I think we do, I think we have to. Let's, <laughs> let's cement ranger it up. So take a look at them before we put them on. These are a size medium and I'm gonna say right off the bat that these are gonna be knee wrinkly on me. Don't know why, I think it's because I have such tiny joints that when I wear anything that's tight, it has to be like nearly inside you tight when I put it on for it to fit properly. So I'm gonna say this is a medium and on paper, this should fit me fine, but I'm gonna need a small, guarantee it. So if you are under 5'11", 5'10", I'd say, and you and the leggings and you like them to fit like a skin like I like to fit like a second skin I don't like wrinkles it bugs me then go a size down from what you probably should be because these are super stretchy so they're gonna be able to mold over your legs and over that muscle so you're not gonna really have an issue with mobility and movement especially with the way that these are structured because I'm gonna use a word now that is about as sexy as a vomiting badger gusset the gusset on these is functional. So they've given this, these pieces now, we have the gusset of stretchability. So it means you're not gonna get an aggravation from the seams there because you've got that stretch material underneath your balls to stop stuff rubbing. I'm just being brutally honest with you here, guys, but that is effectively how they fit. So we have gusset, badger vomiting, wonder, wonderful functionality. We have a 3D logo in silicon on the thigh, again, a load more detailing, which we'll go through now when we change into this. So, it's morphing time, Cement Power Ranger. I am Cement Man. <laughs> now this is, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, would you? You'd, you'd do, this is what you'd do. This is what you'd do, that. That's pretty cool. So you wouldn't be Cement Man. You'd mix it up, you get that contrast in there. But you can see, 3D silicon logo on the side, loads of nice detailing here. This is what I'm talking about. So if I pull these down, you see I'm getting these wrinkles? It's just like, they grip perfectly around the ankles and everything. I just think from the waist to here, there's just a bit, I need more booty. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. I think. I think I need to be doing more mm, stuff with weights. Yeah? Yeah. So I could <laughs> definitely get a small and they would fit like better around this area. The gusset. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. Jesus Christ. <laughs> They are very, very functional, limited, seam, limited seams. You've only really got internal seams. From there around, there's nothing. So nothing down the sides of your legs. Uh, very breathable. So all these patches, although they look really cool, they're also breathable areas within the tights. So behind your knees, around the quads. So it allows a lot of breathability, which then means you can do this and not get too hot and bothered. And you've still got all that kind of movability. You've also got that compression type effect from the tights. So you can wear them as an underlayer or you can wear them solo. Depends how brave you are about showing the gusset. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, so there we go, I think we've covered everything. These are all gonna be released as you're watching this video now, 30th of May. Once this video is finished, these products will be live. Link is in the description, make sure you hit it up. It literally supports the channel when you hit that link and then go through to the website, browsing, buying or whatever. It really, really does help. So thank you all for the support. 
Links in the description. Any other videos that you want to see for sizing and things like that, please check out the channel. There is a place actually already available at SEM called Reviews and Discounts. And everything in there that I've done, sizing guides and whatnot, from past products to current products, are all in there. So make sure to give those a look. So until the next review time, let me know what you want to see. Let me know if there's anything I've missed out here that you need to know more about. And I'll make sure to include them or answer them in the comment section below, which is where you can contact me. So hit me up in the comments if you've got any questions and I will do my best to answer them. And hopefully you manage to grab what you want before it sells out. So until the next one, this is the Cement Man with the sexy gusset, with the worth a look cleavage, and we're out.